No, I have no need to uh, pull out the information. All right. Any questions on mid segments? Just here we talked about mid segments of triangles. Remember, there was two important points. The first idea is that the mid segment is parallel to the third side, and then the second thing is that the mid segment is half the length of the third side. Any questions on that? Okay. So today we're just going to talk about other uh, special segments and triangles. Other special segments and triangles. So some of these I'm sure you've heard of, and some, some of them maybe you haven't. So um, the first one is just the perpendicular bisector of the sides. Perpendicular bisectors. Okay. So you have a triangle, this. you can talk about the perpendicular bisector of any of these three sides. For example, this side. There's a perpendicular bisector of that side. Okay. You can identify it because it's perpendicular and it bisects it. Okay. It cuts that side exactly in half and it intersects at a right angle. Okay. Second one is the angle bisectors. Again, we've talked about angle bisectors before, but you can talk about angle bisectors in the context of triangles as well. So if I have a triangle, this for example, and an angle bisector would just be a ray or a line segment that splits the angle exactly in half. So that angle and that angle would be the same measure. Okay. Another one is the altitudes. I'm sure you've heard that word before. What does that mean? Yeah, yeah like in a plane, your altitude is like your height. In a triangle, the altitude is the height as well. It's the, it's the perpendicular line segment from the vertex to the opposite side. That's what the altitude is. It's a perpendicular segment from the vertex to the opposite side. And then in parentheses, I'm just going to say, or an extension of the opposite side. So if I have a triangle that looks like this, for example, then the altitude would just be the line segment that goes from this vertex straight down perpendicular to the opposite side. Now you can tell the difference between a perpendicular bisector and an altitude 
because the perpendicular bisector ends up in the middle of the opposite, or it, it, yeah, it ends up in the middle of the op of that side. It doesn't necessarily have to pass through this vertex, right? So people get these two confused. Perpendicular bisector is right in the middle of the line segment, and it uh, it doesn't necessarily go through one of the vertices of the triangle. But uh, an altitude has to go through a vertex, and it doesn't necessarily end up in the middle. Okay. Now, I said here for an extension of the opposite side because it's possible, it's particularly if you have a, um, uh, an obtuse triangle, if you have an obtuse triangle like this, and you're trying to draw the altitude from this point over here, there's no way to get from here to the opposite side perpendicularly. It's impossible, right? So what you would have to do is you'd have to extend that side straight out and then go perpendicularly down to that extension like that that would be the altitude in that case okay so that's what i mean when i say or an extension of the opposite side it's also possible that the altitude might actually be one of the sides of the triangle if it happens to be a right triangle right like if i have a triangle that looks like this right there then in this case the altitude would be from this vertex straight down it would be that side of the triangle itself that's the altitude so an altitude can be in the interior of the triangle it could be outside the triangle entirely or it could be part of the triangle like this you don't have that problem with angle bisectors or with perpendicular bisectors. They always just go through the middle of the triangle, right? But altitudes could be any one of these three situations. They could be in the middle of the triangle somewhere. They could be outside the triangle or on the triangle. Okay. The fourth special line segment is called the medians. So you've probably heard this word before too in different contexts. What's have you heard that word before? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. No. Yeah, okay. So in the middle. Yeah, so when you when you talk about statistics, um, the median of a set of data is the middle value, right? It's uh, if you arrange all the data in order from like smallest to largest, it's the one that happens to be in the middle. What if there's an even number? What are you supposed to do? Average. You, you take, take the average of the two middle ones, yeah. Um, another way that you've probably heard the word median is if you're driving down the highway, the median is like that strip of grass in the middle between the northbound and southbound lanes, right? That's sometimes called the median. So median means middle, right? So in the context of triangles, the median of a triangle is the line segment that goes from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So the middle. So this is um, a line segment. From a vertex. to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay, so if I have a triangle like this, then I wanted to draw the median from this point it would go from that point to the midpoint of the opposite side. That. That's the median. Well, a median of that triangle. There's three of them, obviously. So if I had, even if I had an, an obtuse triangle or something, um, something like this, the median would still be from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Yeah. 
Okay, so try not to confuse this with mid-segment. It's not the same thing. Okay. Um, note. This isn't the mid-segment. What's the difference? What's the mid-segment? Yeah, it connects to midpoints. It doesn't actually go through any of the vertices. This isn't the mid-segment. Which is the line segment that connects to midpoints. So the median and the mid-segment are two very different things. They don't even look the same, right? But people get them confused. Their names confused. Okay, so we have mid segments, perpendicular bisectors, angle bisectors, altitudes, and mediums. You need to be able to identify them. That's the bottom line. Um, I can give you a picture or a diagram that's labeled. You have to be able to say which special line segment they're talking about. Now, just a couple of important notes. Um, so this is just facts. First of all, in an equilateral triangle, all four of these special line segments, not including mid segments, but the angle bisector, the perpendicular bisector, the altitude, and the median are all the same thing. They're all exactly the same line segment. An equilateral triangle. Um, Perpendicular bisector um, equals, that's a word, yeah, I guess, equals um, the angle bisector. I don't know if that's the correct use of equal sign, but you know what I mean. If they're the same. Uh, so perpendicular bisector equals the angle bisector equals the altitude equals the median. They're all the same. If I draw a picture, this becomes kind of clear. Like if I draw a really careful, I actually have an angle or a, a an equilateral triangle drawer right here. So if I have this equilateral triangle and I draw the line segment from here straight down. That segment is going to perpendicularly bisect the base. It's also definitely an altitude because it goes from a vertex perpendicular to the base. It's also the angle bisector because these are, end up being two congruent triangles if this is an equilateral triangle. So it's also an angle bisector. And it's also clearly a median. It goes from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So in an equilateral triangle, the perpendicular bisector and the angle bisector and the altitude and the median are all the same. This is also true, this fact is also true for isosceles triangles as long as you're going from the vertex angle, the top angle in, a, in, a, uh, in an isosceles triangle. So that's the second fact I want to say. In an isosceles triangle, From the vertex angle only, same thing is true. Perpendicular bisector equals angle bisector equals altitude equals medium. triangle that looks like this and it's isosceles all of those same things are true if I draw in that line segment right down the middle it, it bisects the base it's also perpendicular to the base it splits the angle in half and it's a medium or I could have an isosceles triangle that's I, uh, obtuse like this, and the same thing would be true. 
same thing's true. If I draw this straight down, perpendicular, it bisects the base, it bisects the angle, and it's perpendicular to the base. Okay? So basically all you need to be able to do is give it a picture that's labeled really well, you have to be able to identify a special line segment as being a perpendicular bisector, an angle bisector, a, uh, an altitude, or a medium. Super easy. And you, you can have it written down, like, it's open note, so you don't even have to memorize it, but it's easy to memorize. Any questions on that? All right, so the homework actually is on IXL, and it's just called, um, it's, it's, it's um, recommended, so make sure you just look at the recommended stuff, but it's called Identify Medians, Altitudes, Angle Bisectors, and Perpendicular Bisectors. Okay, so go to your recommended by my teacher in IXL, and it's just called Identify Medians, Altitudes, Perpendicular Bisectors, and Angle Bisectors. Any questions? This homework should literally take you five minutes. Um, could you show the fact one again, please? Sure. Fact one is in an equilateral triangle, the perpendicular bisector and the angle bisector and the altitude and the median are all the same. Thank you. And do we have a quiz tomorrow? I didn't hear what you said, but um, Do we have a quiz tomorrow? Uh, great question. No, there's not going to be a quiz tomorrow. There'll be a quiz next week on this week's stuff. <clears throat> okay. okay. I'll be back by then. Okay. okay That's bye. funny. You just said, I'll be back. Oh, yeah. My internet is not that good. No. <laughs> Never mind. It was a Terminator joke. Oh. <laughs> funny. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Any other questions? What you say it was called? Um, it's called Identify Altitudes, Medians, Angle Bisectors, Perpendicular Bisectors. All right, I'm going to stop recording now. Thank <laughs> you.